Hi guys and welcome to my video on how to install RAM into your MacBook Pro. Um, in this video I'm going to be installing some aftermarket third-party RAM into my late 2011 MacBook Pro and today we're going to be outfitting it with this RAM upgrade. So the first thing I wanted to do is show you the RAM itself. Um, it comes in two 8 gigabyte sticks that I purchased from Otherworld Computing. They've got all the resources you need to figure out what goes into your computer and um, you can order it there relatively inexpensively. This was just under $100 for 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is the most you can put in. I have here some jewelers tools, uh, jeweler screwdrivers, and these are precision screwdrivers. You can buy these online. Uh, these are made by, looks like, General, and I think I paid $5 for them. I think I actually bought them at Lowe's, to be honest. And I have here my MacBook Pro, all right? So before we start, just one little note. Whenever you're installing RAM or anything on the back end of your computer, first of all, understand that I have a warranty for this. So they encourage me to do this work, but even if I screw it up, even if I break it myself, they're going to cover any uh, cost that I might incur. So I've got that safety net for me. The other thing is, it's incredibly easy to short out your equipment. The smallest shock, something that you can't even comprehend, could wreck your entire system. So it's important to ground yourself um, whenever you're dealing with electronics. I've never personally shorted anything out, but I know people who have, and it's, it's a dumb mistake to make. Lucky for me, I'm protected again if that does happen, but I wouldn't want it to happen to you, okay? So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over my MacBook Pro, and you can see I've got this weird little thing on here. Since I have two, it helps me keep track of what's what, so I'll pull that off, okay? And um, you can see there are different screws in the bottom of this thing. You can see we have two here, two here, two here, two here, and two here. And they're all tiny, tiny Phillips head screws. So I'm going to go to my precision tool right here, and I'm going to grab my Phillips head and insert it into the screwdriver itself and I'm just gonna pull these out. So while you're doing this, the first one came out pretty easily, but you might notice that some of these are in there pretty tight. If you get stuck on one, rather than risk stripping the screw, move on to another one and try to loosen it up. And uh, I like to jump around when I'm pulling these out. It seems to work a little bit better. The other thing is, um, some of these are long and some of these are short. Uh, I, can't I can't see if you can see the difference here. So here's a short one, here's a long one. Make sure you keep them separate because it's important to know where they go. I like to place them around the, the actual holes that they drill into just so I can keep them straight. But again, if you're gonna do that, make sure you have a big wide surface for you to work on so you don't knock anything on the ground and get confused, all right? All right, you can see them on my last one. This guy's really in there, so I saved him for last and he's coming out now, but I almost ended up stripping it. So again, be very careful when you're doing this not to strip them out. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my RAM here that's in this guy and I want to have it ready for when I actually pop it out. I want a place to put the other stuff. So I'm going to actually open this container up here and I'm just going to let that sit. I'm going to set it off to the side. All right. So the back casing of the MacBook Pro just lifts right off. And uh, when you're putting this back together, it's not going to be difficult to tell what side goes where, so don't worry about getting the two confused. But voila, that is the inside of our MacBook Pro. You can see I've never actually opened this one up. I've never opened this one up, and there is some dust on here. Do not touch it. You're going to be tempted to touch it. You're going to be tempted to blow on it. Again, the more stuff you mess with, the greater the chance that you can screw it up, okay? So just don't do it. Our RAM lives and don't take your screwdriver and touch anything to any surface. Don't even come close to it. So I'm going to point from a distance, but our RAM is this green piece right here that I'm kind of hovering over. That's the factory RAM that came with this machine and that's what we're going to be replacing. Now you can see I got two sticks to replace. The way the RAM is set up in this machine is it's layered in there. So we're actually going to pop out two layers of RAM. All right. And as I do this, I'm going to grab, there's a little release right here on the outside. And you can take both of these. And you can see that just pops right up when you pull those two little black levers out. All right, so I'm now I'm gonna carefully pull that out. And that popped out easier than I thought it would even. This isn't the first time I've done this, but I remember it being more difficult. I remember it being more difficult. 
And this guy was always a pain in the ass. The second one is actually a little bit of a pain. Again, don't do anything terrible to your machine. You will regret breaking this. You'll regret breaking RAM off in your machine. So just be patient. Make sure you've got these pulled out, these little black levers on the sides pulled out all the way so this has a clean path of egress. Okay, now I'm just gonna set that off to the side. And remember when I pulled that out, the stickers were up? The new RAM is gonna go in the exact same way. All right, so I'm gonna lean over here. You can see what I'm doing. You want these gold teeth to line up. You can see there are gold teeth on this edge right here. And they'll actually line up with the slot in here. It's gonna be very difficult for you to actually get your RAM in if it's not in the right way. In fact, I'm going to flip this over for my sake. So the first one will go in and you've got to pull again these pieces to the side. You don't have to force it in, it should just go. I'm going to pull out my other piece of RAM. I'm going to do the same thing. Again, should fit right in. Don't have to force it at all. It should just go. At least you would think. There will be a little click, but not a big one. Okay, and I can see that that's in there pretty square. These two pieces line up. I'm assuming I did it right. So then we'll just take our backing, and this will be backwards now since I flipped the machine around. We'll put this guy back on, and we'll screw it back in. Well guys, uh, you can see up here, this is indicating that I have 13.87 gigabytes of RAM free, indicating that uh, of the 16, about 2.13 is being used by uh, my operating system. So there you have it, that's how you install RAM on your MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching.